Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Growing Pains podcast. Yes, yes, yes. You are joined by Fiance and Fiance, Bazinga Graham and Fizzle K. Jeez. That's how we, that's our like stage name now. Fiance and Fiance, Fizzle K, Bazinga yeah. Graham. You come up with that. What are you doing? My lip liner. Why are you looking for viewers? Yeah. She is lip lining her lips. It's so important. Is it? It's that game. If you could tier list most important things to do to your face. Lip liner. What, one? That, if I had to, if I was to go to a remote island and I was only allowed to take one bit of makeup. You'd take a lip liner? Take a lip liner. Really? Yeah. Would that just not look odd if you had nothing else on there? No, I love a lip liner. Just really stood out lips. You do. Faith walks around with like six lip liners in her pocket at all times. I am. And if she, lo if she loses a lip liner, she gets fucking gutted about it. I do. Yeah. Um, how's your week? It's good. I'm tired right now. Oh, bro drew on her lip. <gasps> Well, I'm not looking. <laughs> no, I've not blended it yet. Go She's got poo on her lip. Pooey lip. Go, keep talking. <laughs> poo lip. Just Whoa. Poo for like a minute. Poo lip. Whoa. Uh, how's your week? Yeah, you're tired. I'm tired. Busy week. Uh, we, last night, were out partying as parents. We went crazy. Absolutely nuts. But we didn't really. We went no. to the bowling alley. <laughs> Time Jizzle had a surprise party. For him, but Josh shut it up, I think. Mm. I think Josh helped organise it. Yeah. Um, um, went out and it was a bowling, bowling like mm, whatever. That's yeah. where it was. Um, and Ethan did not stop bowling the whole time. And it's uh, it's like having a child because everyone was coming up to me. Like, obviously, everyone else would mix and mingle, you know, drink, talk to each other. Ethan was just playing bowling by himself. I like bowling. Yeah, but it was for a long time. Yeah, but babe. I like bowling. Yeah, but ev even people were like, Oh, Ethan's still bowling, and I'm like, brilliant. I, like, I feel like I've got a four-year-old. Yeah, I like bowling. I was bowling. Josh bowled as much as me, if not more. I think yeah, Josh bowled. Uh... Me, Josh, and Toby all bowled lots. Yeah? Yeah, we enjoyed the bowling alley. Um, it was fun. It was a good little shindig, but loads of everyone left early. So early. We was out partying, man. We left at half 11 <laughs> and got home at half midnight. That puts which into crazy. how early people actually left. Yeah, which is crazy considering we're the, the parents. I know. And we've got such a busy day, so. Yeah, long day today. Uh, after this, we are. this is filmed on the same day and we are heading to the Sides restaurant in Lakeside Jeez. to open it up. Uh, mm -hmm. Hardest Geezer is going to be there. Yeah. He's going to be dishing out some chicken burgers. Love that. It's going to be kicking off down there, mate. What? What? Obviously, I'm coming with you. Yeah. I'm a bit worried here. Why? Because you guys all have roles. Right? Yeah, but you'll just you just come with me and be like, oh, wow, look at yeah, chicken. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. What? Like, because what if loads of people turn up and then there's... Loads of people are going to turn up. Okay, but then it's really crowded and then what do I do? you be with me. I'm going to have to blend in and say, oh my God, can I get a picture too? No. Circle um, with me. What did we do this week? I cut all my hair off. You did do that. Yeah, that's yes. a shot to the system. Again, yeah. we've actually had really busy weeks. Yeah. Like a lot has been happening. Yeah. So we had the um, dog protection company back out yeah. who is training Darcy for us. Yeah, to sort of stage a visit. Which exactly. Would be... Yeah, stage a burglary, things like that, get a really set up for home life. Yeah. Anyway, there was like four men from this company downstairs. Yeah. I was at Ethan... Like, they're here now. He come out of the ensuite bathroom, bollock fucking naked, his fucking turkey danglers ranging out. Turkey danglers? Yeah, your ball sack. Hanging out. And I went, you've got no hair. Yeah. Yeah, I got rid of it. I was about to get, I, I said that, I was like, I'm going upstairs, I'm going to get in the shower. And then I was looking in the mirror before I got in the shower and I was like, this fucking trim's just doing my head in now. But he had like a bald spot on there because I think he did it a bit too close. Well, yeah, I just, I used a beard trimmer. Yeah. and But I did a good job with the beard trimmer, considering. Did considering, I did, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So I did it myself. I took it really short, because it's not that the trim, I like the style of the trim. I'll probably get that again, but the blonde tips were just doing my head in. And when yeah. I cut it off, it looked like a fucking raccoon. I do, I do like you like this every now and then, though. You do like me like this. You've got a thing. I said, I've got a real bad thing for like, for like a thug. A thuggish looking man. Which Who just, doesn't know? Which Let's I suppose... Like, do you know what's weird, though? Like, I really, really, enjoy it. a thug or like a really Tory posh sweat around the weird yeah like yeah. it's one or the other there's no in between uh, I would also like to dispute this isn't oh, this sorry. isn't a new haircut I've I've done this before yeah I've had this before it's been done but yeah I did it myself then I went to the barbers in the morning just to get a fade and like, you're changing your hair more than me which is nuts it's not changing it though I don't know you change your haircut every five minutes no I don't fuck off do I okay. no I don't <laughs> alright um 
What else did I do? I ran something little, as you would say. Yeah, you ran a little half marathon, bless him. Yeah, when she speaks, when she speaks to people, she goes, yeah, but run a little no, no, half no. marathon, whatever it is. I like, don't want to take the heat for this because Freezy actually said that piece of piercing, you shouldn't have even vlogged it. So no, Freezy because, well, is actually no, throwing more Freezy's, shade. Freezy's point is completely false. Very false. Very false. Anyone can complete one. I don't dispute that. Completing it is a completely different sentence to running it. And running it in a competitive, decent time. Yeah. Not anyone can run one in a competitive. He's really time. wound the runners up with that one. Oh no, he's got the Hoka Hoka wearing bandits out. They, yeah. they're not, he's not. They're not going to like that. Yeah. But listen, hey, I'm 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 a part time Hoka bandit, so mm. I can't really I can't really get involved that much. But mm. um, I can run it. I done one. I done one on Sunday. I did London landmarks, which was really good because I. I was meant to do the London one, but it was COVID. So I had to do my own one just wherever I could. So I've done that. I've done a full one. And then I've never run a race with like crowds and like people stopping and banging, banging, banging. It's really good. Mm. It's a shame my leg was fucked because I couldn't enjoy it properly. Mm. I showed Faith some of the pictures because they send you a link with like all your pictures from it and you can buy them. I look tired. Bro is not buying them because... I I look like I'm in pain in every single picture, which is valid because my leg is still like yellowy and brown. It's not great. The day of the race, it looked vile. Mm. Um, so I, I, I raised the money. I said, fuck it, I'm going to get through it. I got like 13K in. A half marathon's like 21.1. I got 13K in and it was just fucking packing in, man. Mm. So I ate some sweets. So I carried on. <laughs> I ate some more sweets, carried on. Got there in the end, boshed it out of the park, come home and couldn't move. Good job. Yeah, feeling stiff. Well I said to Faith, I want Faith to start no. running. Come yeah, run. I want to run. I've, I've started, Jim. Yeah. So I'm going to be a Bundelangers. You're going to be a Bundelangers. That's the aim, yeah? Yeah. You're going to that's be a what I want. I don't want to do anything. Else. You just want to be a Bundelangers. Yeah. You don't want to come on a run? No. Why? Well, give me reasons for. You feel fitter, stronger. You release endorphins. You feel positive. You feel great after a run. I feel positive. Yeah. Brilliant. It will change your life. I don't think it will. It will. You get to do all that cool hot girl shit, man. Like, just, what, okay. so girls who run are hot? No, but that's, that's what they like to say, don't marathon. they? That's what they, I'm using a fucking classic <laughs> woman saying, mate. It's slay. Hot <laughs> this girl. is why he runs. Hot, hot girls run. Chasing what? the bunda in front of him. Mate, it's fucking 90 year olds. There's no running around my area. There's well, fucking... then, when I'm 90, I'll go with you. Yeah. Right. Until then, I, I've been going gym now. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Give she's, me some credit. She's got this like got gym plan. little gym plan thing. That's well, like, like nine months ago. Like 20, 30, min now. 20, 30 minute workouts that are like. Well, I'm only on week one. Yeah. There's a whole phase. They're not just going right. to be like, I'll do a an hour workout now. Yeah. I'm barely walk as it is. Yeah. But you, you are doing it, which yeah. is cool. Well done, you. Yeah. You done some running the other day, didn't you? No. Nope. You said I, I ran did a, a bit. Hit workout. Yeah, you said I ran a bit. Yeah, because it felt like I was running because it was hit. But what was you doing? A twisty jumps. Oh, the twist jumps. Yeah. That's not running. No, that's jumping. I didn't say I was running. You did. I you said, said I did some running. Like I was running because the breathing is the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not the same <laughs> exercise. Yeah, I didn't say I was running. But you did. You said no, I, I said did it's some running. running. <laughs> you said you come in. You went hit. high intensity. Right. That's how it feels when I run. Does it? It's more fun though. Was it? Yeah. Dude, can you show everyone your sure. twisty jump? I might wet myself. I have. <laughs> I have had a baby. So this is what face up to in the gym. Come on then. Ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right, boss. So you do that. What else do you do? Oh, I do my whole fucking life. No, just show us like some moves. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, powerful. And, uh, Heel kicks, yeah. 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 Then, oh, my oh, jump, jumping squats. Yeah. Wow. Four rounds of that. Four rounds of that. Yeah. But the Lenga's journey. Yeah. Yeah, she's cooking. Um, you had, um, what did you have? You had a video go out. You yeah. had a stable dates go out. How was that? Yeah, it was good. It was fun. Yeah, fun one. It was a fun one. Nice. Yeah, it was good. Did you watch it? No. I don't, watch, I don't watch many Why? videos. You read all the comments, eh? No, I don't. You do? She told me you saw a comment. Oh, yeah. I you click on my comment. I click on the video to see how it's gone down, but I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. It actually thing. didn't do well, statistically. Did like, it it's the worst it viewing ones. Last time I checked, it was on that like 35k. And Pete, what are you saying about Carl? Well, I don't think the uh, <laughs> time frame was. <laughs> it's worked in the viewing oh 66k favor. oh no, no it's dude. not good usually they're in like that even hundreds. boyfriend rates my shoes is that yeah. better than that that's fucking mental that's what I'm saying yeah horror next oh, well. guest is good though who is it GK Bazaar 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow. When are you doing that? Friday. Wow. Wait. You're in Norfolk. Rob, I've fucked my whole week. So what? How are you doing this? Are you yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to be in Norfolk and be at home at the same time. But what day are you going to Norfolk and coming back? Are you coming back Friday? Coming back Sunday? But I'll, now I'll, I'll have to go after I've done the stable dates, which is long. Fair dudes. Faith's really talented at like inviting the whole world to our house at the same time without realising. It's just, the best shit ever, man. I really struggle to like coordinate my life and everyone else in it. So people are like, oh, can I come Tuesday? And I'm like, sure. And then someone else will be like, oh, can I come Tuesday? And I'm, I've already forgotten about the other person on Tuesday. It's sure. mental. And then you're thinking, hey, write it down. I do. Yeah. I just don't check it. Yeah. So then everyone turns up. And I'm like, when I'm at home... Ethan hates it. When I'm at home, I'm a very like, this is my home and I'm enjoying my home with my humans in it, which is you and Olive. I'm enjoying my home. I'm enjoying my peace. And then there's problems always. No one I invite comes in the house though. No, but they, 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 what are you talking about? There was like fucking 16 they, people yeah, in the that, hallway. That was the dog people. That was, that's allowed. Too many of them. And I love them, but there were too many of them. <laughs> oh, it was just too, and then it just gets too much. It's just way too much. I enjoy my house with three people in it. And that's it. It's very fun. I am fun. Yeah. I am fun. Yeah. I'm fun. I'm 100% fun. Mm. <laughs> just an introvert. I'm like an introverted extrovert. Like I like doing shit. I like be, I'm like quite extroverted personality, but also at home, I'm like, fuck off everyone. Yeah. I like that. Um, Olive throwing herself off a climbing frame. Bro, that was nuts. So I, I feel like we don't really, we haven't had like any Olive stories recently, but like this beast is now nearly 19 months old. She's very close to being two years old. Yeah. And she is really fucking smart and really, really active. Because she was walking from like 11 months. She was really early walking. She does she's worry like, me though. She's now super just advanced on the feet well, and that, this, like. is, this is what I'm saying some babies walk from like nine months by the way it's nuts but anyway I take her out to play yeah. and I don't know if it's because she's not really been around young children because bless her I was a young mum no one yeah. else has had yeah. babies yet um, so when we go to the park and that she's like all these kids are playing. She watches them. Yeah. I try and put her on the climbing frames, go down a slide. No, she doesn't. She want watches to do it. people. She have wants fun. to watch everyone else. But yeah. then there'll be like a bridge, a yellow bridge over the park, and then there'll be grooves in it. She'll start counting them. Yeah. One, two, but three. She can, this is what I was about four. to say a minute ago. She can she, nearly her count. count two her counting ten. now is really, really good. It used to be funny. She used to not be able to do one and two. Yeah. And she would do three, four. All the time. And then she could do eight and nine. Yeah. But now. I was out with her in the garden the other day and we've got like a fake bridge that she walks over. She walks onto the bridge and bro counted herself off the bridge. She went three, one, two, no, one. she did the other way. She went one, two, three and walked off. And I was like, look at, wow. Yeah. You realise I'm going to count myself off the bridge. Yeah. And she'll speed up, ready, steady, go. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, what else? She, she tw twinkle, twinkle, little star. She sings at the minute. Yeah. But she's, but it's just like, to me, it's like, why don't you want to play? Like, yeah. just counting and stuff and she it's does. fine maybe we're just different but me and you aren't that smart so maybe it's just a shock to me like why do, why, why you learning you count all the things? time yeah and like in the like, garden play. she's got a bucket and she'll pick stones out the driveway and count them yeah and put them in her bucket like she, she don't I know that autism awareness is going to come out. She doesn't walk on her tiptoes and she no, doesn't she skim doesn't do or flap no, her hands no. yet. <laughs> no, but she she really enjoys putting things in other things. Yeah. Like, really loves it. Like yeah. She'll do that over a lot of things. It is really sweet. But it's anyway, cute. this climbing frame story. So yeah. I took her to... Play Cafe. Play, it's a new play cafe in Brentwood. Mm. Um, I took her there. Mum come with me, yep. luckily. Um and it's like a soft play bit and they've kind of got like a little mm. ladder so it's, like, it's high enough do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean like it's, it's soft but that doesn't mean you can't break your arm you still from a height soft, yeah. do you know what I mean yeah. I was trying again because I was trying to get her to actually play on things mm. she got up there all she has to do is walk around the corner she can go down the slide yeah. so I went to put my head through like the net bit to say oh hi mummy's here walk <laughs> to this bit this is so great do you know how many times I've had to do it with her <laughs> I don't even think adults are, I have to go down the slide on my feet because my hips don't actually fit <laughs> in the slide like, and I'm a small person yeah. it's made for kids it's not one of them soft plays where mum and dads get involved anyway I see her just fl like take one foot I saw the foot before anything else she fell and my mum instincts had to like because it's a small top yeah. I had to dash under it and put my arm out and I managed to catch her from the second to top step but she would have fell like yeah. head first otherwise yeah. but I was like wow 
No, she's, what she's a, a pest. bloody reflex I feel like moment. at home as well, because we sort of help her off of things, she's, she got, steps. she's got the confidence to just step. Like if you even just hold one of her hands, she just goes uh, and yeah. will just step off things, which is good because she's got the confidence to do so. But also not when there's nothing there. But it to just get, baffles yeah. me. There was like four other children running around. Copy what they're doing. Yeah. They're all going that way. Why are you coming back down here? Uh, you said she had some strops as oh well. Oh my God, she was the only one stropping as well. Only one. <laughs> she's she like, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't strop. <laughs> yeah. but she had like four strops in there. And again, she was just walking around with the adults. Like, seeing the other mums. Juice, juice. Juice, yeah. Juice. Like, she didn't want to play it, bro. I love you, girl, but... Funny. Um, Sidemen try not to piss challenge. What a video? I didn't see Video it. of all time. I haven't seen any clips of it. I haven't watched no, it. No, no, video of all time. Did it not Twi do good? It did really well, oh, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. Considering what the video was, it actually did really well, which is quite funny because YouTube-wise, it's performed well, but Twitter-wise, Twitter was fucking killing me, man. Why? It, it, they, people were making edits of, like, flags at football, like, Sidemen, thanks for the memories. <laughs> so, oh. But it's time to go. <laughs> I, I retire. <laughs> Twitter was very funny. I enjoyed a it lot was of, a weird idea I'll give it that it was one of them so we film near us sometimes at the studio and we shot until like six ish and then we had a fucking two hour meeting everyone was fucking knackered and we come up with fashion show and try not to piss and we thought we cooked yeah however that is exactly why you don't have a meeting after like a six hour shoot when everyone just wants to go home because yeah. everyone will come out with nonsense and then that's what ends up but try not to piss was actually funny yeah with all like the rules and stipulations i of course was first to piss Oof. um but we had a tactic and it was to i was with josh josh just doesn't use the toilet i'm convinced i've i've seen josh go to the toilet once in my life mm. and it was at benedon beach he pissed in the ocean Apart from that, he could be a Kendall. I've not heard a fart. I've not seen him poo. I've never seen him go, oh, I need to go for a poo. And nothing. He Nothing leaves his body. Reserved king. I don't know how, though. How? So well, yeah, I feel like Josh was one of the first people you text saying you needed to fight in front of me right at the beginning, no? No. I swear it was Josh. Oh, I just, no, I, no I, I told you that he never farts in front of Freya. Mm. Freya's heard him, heard him fart twice in 13 years. What a lucky woman. No, no, yeah, no, I think me. you're lucky. No, I think uh, you should each really one. deserve it. it. Actually, like, there'll be a really <laughs> lovely moment between us. I think, oh, I'm really enjoying our day today. Like, what a, I'm feeling really in love. And then he'll just fart and I think, what a fucking arsehole. Each one it? is a token of my appreciation. No, it's not. You. And you do it at the worst moments and your arsehole is so fucking flabby as well. <laughs> flabby? Just fucking ripples. Flabby? It is. <laughs> I can't say that. That's like not every nice. time. Uh, it says Ethan back streamed on Tuesday. I assume that means Ethan's Ethan streamed on Tuesday or something. Ethan streams every night. Because I haven't back streamed. Mm. I, haven't, uh, I don't stream every night. I stream like two to three nights. Yeah, it's not been every night. Um, but I am enjoying it. It's very fun. Faith has come in and got set up on one of them. Mm. I thought that you wouldn't be in shot. That was quite funny. Um, what else have I done? Yeah, we got promoted recently. We got to the elite division. That was mega. Um, yeah, man, we're, we're having fun on Twitch. So uh, go and follow me on Twitch. Oh, wow. The Paul personal promo. Bazinga. You said I was cringe for at in my Instagram before. Yeah. All right. It says Girth and Turf update from Ethan. Right. Go on in, Girth and go. Turf club scenario. We made it. We had a change up in the system. Uh, Jin started playing any and we won five out of five playoff games to get us to the elite division, which was fucking mega. And you've seen a couple of the clips where like we're proper celebrating and stuff. Yeah. Faith's like, just don't get it. Like, why are you celebrating like that? Yeah. Like, don't understand. Like, it's so invested. It's such a big like celebration and reaction. Yes. Because it was. It, we tried to get to elite division so many times. Yeah. Finally done it. Bossed it out of the park. Love it. Amazing. Well done. What, what's next for Girth and Turf? I think we're going to try and... Loads of footballers want to play us. Why don't you do like a charity match, Girth and Turf? Charity yeah, match. it would be quite funny. Uh, loads of footballers want to play us. So I think Aaron Ramsdale, goalkeeper for Arsenal, he wants to play. He's going to get smoked. Jack Grealish apparently text uh, H saying that he wants to play. He's going to round up some boys. Jack Grealish, sorry, mate, but I'm whipping that headband off your head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good at clubs and I will smoke every single one of you. You've had enough practice. Yeah, I have. Wow. I've been doing it for a very long time, okay? I'm a veteran on this circuit. Don't play with me. Then show him how it's done. Yeah. Take him to school. Yeah, yeah. My transfer value is up right now. Love that. <laughs> uh, hardest Geezer finishes running the length of Africa and opens chicken shops now. Big <laughs> up. Um, you've seen, I, I tune into a lot of the videos of him crossing Africa. It's just fucking mental, man. It is nuts. Like, absolutely mental. I 
I get like, even after the half marathon recently, even though my body's fucked and my full marathon, you do get a little bit of like running, like post, like you get so high. And then after that, it's like, all right, what are you training for? What are you doing anything for? Like training for your marathon is like, you put in so much work, so much work, so much work. And then it's done. Mm. Like now he's just eating chicken, going Greg's, whatever, which I assume is very nice for like a week or two. But then surely his brain's going to start going like, what the fuck do I do next? Well, it depends though, because some he might have literally just done that for fun. Whereas you, you, you need stimulation, yeah, or I, something to work. For I have to have like a depressed. date in mind or something to like. Yeah, he he's just wow, what a man, mm. what a man. Just yeah. fucking every day was running like, I think he averaged like sixty odd k every yeah, that's day. Fucking nuts. That's like a marathon and a bit every day. Sometimes he was running double marathons, like eighty odd k. Yeah, I don't I don't know how he's alive, bro. Well, he, he, he encountered some dangers, some like shark infested wars, got held at gunpoint loads of times. Did he have to swim? Uh, I just, he, he did loads of stuff, mate. Really? That, you should watch it all again. It's like a movie. Maybe. I think one day Netflix will ask for all the footage again, everything they shot, like not the, what they put on YouTube, but all the footage it. and do like a documentary on it because it would be, be sick. the first person to ever do it. So this is what I've got a big issue with. He is the first person to go through 16 borders from the fucking very southerly bit to the very north bit. He's the first person to do that. But the fucking Wild Runners organization come out the day before he was about to complete it, going, we recognize this Danish international, blah, blah, blah. He run the right side of Africa. And I think it was like eight borders he went through, but it's way shorter. Like it isn't like up, down and on the fucking west coast of it. West coast of Africa is the, so long. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, he... And they said, we, we acknowledge this Danish international was the first person to do it uh, on this run. And I was like, you snide bastards. Like, you've waited. You've waited his whole thing. He's been out there nearly a year, 350 mm. odd days, yeah? And then the day before he's going to complete it, you want to put that out. Fuck yeah. Off. Mm. I didn't like that one bit. Anyway, he is the first person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my mind, to yeah. cross, fully cross Africa. So, what a geezer. Um Quite literally, hardest geezer. Mm. Um, but yeah, man, he's done loads of things. He's done like a beer a thon before where he drinks a beer every mile. Okay. He's just he's just a lunatic, mate. I'm actually quite excited to meet him. I've never met him. What are you doing? Um, I love rubbing my bald head at the minute. It feels really nice. Did you look like that prod when you had a buzz? Yeah. It feels lovely, doesn't it? It feels fucking lovely. I don't, you won't understand it. No, I do get it. It's just really distracting. No, but like the feeling... That, it, and all his eyebrows are wobbling about. The feeling that you get on your scalp is like... You don't like scalp massages, do you? When uh, we go, I do because I pull my hair. Yeah, when we go see if you're bald. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I can When we go like spa together or whatever and there's like an added on like scalp massage, I'll always get it. I fucking love it. I could like cream my pack. I get it. I just don't know why it just always feels like I'm pulling my hair. Oh, I love it so much. Um, all right, here we go. If you were living outside the UK for an entire year, what's the one thing you missed the most? Yeah, so he was away for 352 days. Hadn't seen his missus in a very long time either. Uh, what what would What's one thing you'd miss the most? Well, obviously excluding family because I feel like that's just a given. All right, so we can't choose me or Olive. Well, I was talking about my parents, but you as well. Thanks, and Olive. Right. Yeah, of course. Like our family. No families, yeah. All right, our what family. are you missing the most? Um... <laughs> Probably my dogs. The dogs. Mm. I feel like they're Does family as well, though. Yeah, okay, that's family, sure. no, isn't animals, it, really? Animals like, realistically, that's, that's what family. What am I going to miss? They live in your home. Probably my bed. Bed? Yeah, bed's, bed's a massive shout. Bed's a massive shout. Bed, hot shower, sofas. <sighs> um, nice living. Mine's got, mine will just be like whatever food I want. Yeah. And whenever I can get it. Mm. Because, like, you were just stripped of everything at that point. Bro was yeah. eating food out of bags on this trip. Yeah. Like, and I think the company as well. Yeah. Like, you just want to be on your own. Mm. Kind of current because you're in Africa. Yeah. Long. All right. Next up. Sides uh, put new products in Tesco's. So not only do we have the best cereal in Tesco's, and it is quite literally the best. It's two pounds. It's great. Uh, it is HFSS compliant. <laughs> Go get a box now. It's lovely. Faith eats it all the time now. He's a walking ad right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Surf and her fucking... Surf and turf. Whatever it is, your Surf cereal. Turf. Yeah. Uh, but now we've got beef jerky and stuff mm. in, in Tesco. So we got side men beef jerky on behalf of the sides company. It's mm. cool. It's like another thing to have. And it is actually good jerky. It's really nice. It is uh, nice my favourites are the beef ones. The chicken ones are all right. But but yeah, I like the, the Korean barbecue ones. Woo! That shit's slapping. Yeah. It's a good beef jerky. Under 100 calories and 10 grams of protein. That's a good ratio. Mm. Real good ratio if you're looking for a little meaty snack. Well done. Am I your little meaty snack? Of course. Come on. Um, speed signed by Prime. Uh, I showed you the clip of him getting booted yeah, at did. WWE. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's just fucking hilarious, man. That's one of my favorite clips ever. Um, barking at him and then get RKO'd. So good, man. Like, what world are we living in? 
There is none. Like, why is it, I do want to go to America. I want to see what they're doing. It's fucking carnage. Like, it's, never, it's so weird. I've never been, but I don't even feel like I've really met an American. No. Like, and had an actual I don't think you've had an interaction. I've never had an interaction with an with, American. With an American person. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I like it. It depends what Americans I, I feel like get. it might be good though. I feel like they might know what to say. Because yeah. even in this podcast with you, I feel like I'm struggling right now mm. for like conversation. So meeting, no, it's a real big problem of mine. So actually meeting people and being able to have conversations with them, yeah. not even in a rude standoffish way. I just can't generate any conversation. But that's why I and bowled all night And it's not even in a brain night. dead way either. I just can't. That's, what do we say? Yeah, that's I don't why know I, anything about that's you. That's why I bowled all night last night because I can't keep conversations Well, that's going. why I had to drink. I don't even drink anymore. <laughs> but I'm like, oh my God, I've got nothing. Yeah, I've spoken yeah. to like six people and it makes me feel like I'm being a bitch. I'm not being a bitch. I just don't. I, I'm so do I bad say? at talking. I, I, I can get but through. You, you're good. I can. Yeah, I can get through it. But also like there's this thing inside of me that's going, oh my God, I feel like you don't want to be here and I'm here. And like, I can tell that this conversation. But at least you can carry. Yeah. Uh, by past that. I just stand there awkwardly and then we both just take long breaths in until someone yeah, that's thinks bad. something. I hate shit like that. Yeah, that's awkward. Every conversation. Oh, that's like, And when people, like there was people outside the bar um, that were like, oh, like, I love you so much. And then I was like, I'm waiting for you to say like, I'm joking. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Like, I just feel like one, I can't accept a compliment. Yeah. But again, I'm not being a bitch. I just feel like you're joking. <laughs> like, yeah. where do we go? So yeah, if we're an American, it would be weird. Wow. If you're American, come talk to me. Yeah. Just for a bit though. Not too much. Fair. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a thing here about a hoarder's house on the Isle of Wight crammed with decades of junk goes on the market. For Sounds four, like my dad's shed. 400 grand, yeah, 400 grand. But children are banned from going to viewings on health and safety grounds. Yeah. What are your thoughts on hoarders? I, I remember I used to watch, who was it? Trini and Susanna. They used to go around fucking hoarders' houses. It was like a TV show. I can't remember mm. what the TV show was called. Probably hoarders. No, it wasn't. It was saying, let me know in the, the comments of the video because mm. I know what I'm talking about. Um, and they used to go and, and they used to walk around and be like, this is disgusting. Like, it was quite funny. Um, I don't get hoarding. Your dad's, your dad doesn't hoard. He doesn't hoard. What he does is he has a shed and he keeps useful things that he could potentially need. He which kept. always do come in handy though. He kept a bolt from when my granddad passed away yeah. about seven years ago. Yeah. He said, I've been waiting to use this. Well a then, fucking see? bolt. Yeah, a bolt. A bolt. A bolt. Not bad, right? There's four of us. I have an older brother, okay? How old is he? 25, yeah, 26, something, like that, something yeah. like that. 26, probably 27. When you have babies, you put locks on the cupboard. Mm. He kept the fucking lock on the cupboard. Smart. For 26 years. Smart. Needs it. And then he said, I might need that again. Yeah. Bro, we, I bought a 10 pack off Amazon for like five Well, so, so far, he's had a 100% hit ratio on needing it again. No? He Wait, needed a bolt. Well, he had a bolt. He's got a canoe. Are we near a fucking river? He might want to go canoeing. When? When you go to France or something. Which we haven't done in like four years. Well, he might, listen, he might want to go canoeing. it. All right. <laughs> he's got a trailer. Yeah. Never used it. I've even asked for that because <laughs> I will use it. I think can't give it to me. He he does. He's not a hoarder. He just keeps things that he is going to use again eventually. He he's really careful with his money, which is so crazy that yeah. I'm not. Like I feel I feel like I'm not because of how careful he is. No, like, like he, he keeps way. anything with substance. Like no, I might use that one day. I can't mm. get rid of that. Like yeah, and I won't sell it. Like it's it's not. I don't need a new t-shirt because. Mine is still fine. What? I don't understand hoarders, but I do understand people that... Uh, I, but I don't get how you can have, like, a, an attachment or the connection to, like, just shit. Like, mm. love. I've been a bit like it with... I feel like I'm a hoarder for Ollie's baby clothes. I don't want to throw that. Or in the loft, because... That's fine. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll put my wife in the next baby. Because those you can use I'm, again. Really? Are we going to... Yeah. I'm going to want new clothes for the baby. No, well, I'm working it in. I'm getting that out of the loft. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not doing all that again. I feel like Olive's newborn clothes are hers. Sure, but everything, all the like fucking baby girls in there, 100%, I'm getting them but to get out. every outfit she's ever worn that's clean is up in the loft. Yeah. So I'm nuts it's got like five different vacuum bags up there. Mm. It's a lot of clothes for a it's baby, a man. And they, they grow they grow up out of them too quickly. Baby clothes are like the biggest scam out of all yeah, of them. Yeah, but it. she's getting to the age now where it's going like one to two, yeah, two to three. Now, like yeah. she's standing at a, yeah. do you know what I mean? That's her height now. All right, we're moving on. Wedding chat. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Uh, it says, now you guys are getting married. What sort of plans do you have? Um, well, we, we fluttered with the idea of, of doing it over here. That mm -hmm. was our main focus because I like, actually like the idea of going to bed. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. <laughs> um, are you going to say where we're doing it or...? Well, no, we're not saying when we like we we we're, it's not confirmed or anything. You're you're leading people to the fact that we've like decided. No, but oh, I think that will be it. Right. Unless sure. you have any other thoughts and feelings. Well, it's just we're not in no rush, really. No, we're that yeah, no that rush. is the main. So thing. that's There's... that's the one thing I want to preface is the fact that we're not like rushing to dial anything in and fucking yeah. do whatever. Well, that's what people ask me after one day of being engaged. Like, oh, where are you going to go? Just married? enjoy what being engaged. I'm man. like, bro, I've not even thought about just it. Just enjoy being engaged. Like even now, they're like, I'll get wedding planners. I'm like, I'm literally not thinking about just it. Just enjoy being engaged. Like two Have years fun, onwards, man. but it won't be before two years. No. So it says UK or abroad wedding. We are thinking abroad now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we was UK purely through through ease, hmm. but then I think for views, vibes, weather. Yeah, Faith loves Greece. Oh, here we go then. Never mind, uh, it's out. Faith loves Greece. That Faith, long. Faith really loved, Faith really loves Greece. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I want like Mamma Mia wedding. Mamma Mia. Like every girl does so. Really. Mm. I've never even watched Mamma Mia. Is that a crime? Yes. Is it? I don't know. I feel like you're, I know the you're tune, even like a diehard Mamma Mia fan or you're not. Or just and nothing, I love know it. nothing about and it. And like all of it, we can have like a Mamma Mia hour where we just sing like, Mamma Mia. Is there a man out there? And then some girls would do like a flap mob. mob what they, what they Flash mob. Flash mob. Flab mob. Of like. <laughs> just the fat version. And then they'll start singing. <laughs> vule, vule. Uh -huh. I don't even think you need the death for this. We can carry us girls. Sure, enjoy. Um, I, I like Greece, so fuck it. Yeah, potentially Greece, but again, we're, in no, we're in no rush, man. So yeah. um, even I'm in no rush. Let me just put that out yeah. there. I've even said to Ethan, like, there's that, like, mm. I want to straighten my teeth in that first. I don't want, to, I don't want stressing out yeah. about it now. What are your opinions on people who say it's only one day you shouldn't spend too much? I am actually quite on that because I've, how many times have I said to you, we'll just go and sign the paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. said that yeah. to him, go and do a courthouse, go and sign it. I don't know why I'm so low maintenance with wedding. Well, I think uh, there's, there's a happy medium. So there's like a, you don't need to do mega extravagant shit, but you want it to look nice enough so that when you look at your pictures and memories are all like timelessly, like they last the test of time and they look lovely and stuff yeah. like that. So you want it to be in a nice enough place, which costs money. You want it, the pictures to look great, which is nice enough venue, money, how you dress it, whatever. So it does. It does need to be somewhat good for you to then look back on 20 years down the line and be like, what a fucking day that was. Do you want to see my Pinterest pool? No. Oh. Two years. Um, in no frame yeah, of mind. Yeah, but then you can describe it. I don't want to describe it. That's so fucking rude. <laughs> Whilst you find your Pinterest board, um, build your dream weddings for the podcast. Could be as fast fetched as possible. All right, well, here we go. Well, go you, do, you do your dream wedding, so I'm getting my ball done. I don't know what my dream wedding is. I don't really have a dream wedding. No, I feel like... Am I your dream girl? Dream wedding. Dream weddings your dream are wedding. such a... It's such a girl thing. I think girl, girls grow up dreaming of... Prince, avoid being, the question. They dream of being princesses and being wedded and um, being walked down the aisle and stuff like that like that's like a little girl's dream man like boys don't really mine was to be a police officer but right mine was to play football and look where I am <laughs> I'm also not a police officer but yeah. Yeah, I'm getting married you are getting married yeah. so you did that well done yeah but say so say if I was out of all planning I mm. don't want to do it mm. what are you setting up um, what's your idea of a nice wedding how would outdoors, you do it outdoors it's hot I don't know where it is but it's hot mm -hmm. it's outdoors it's hot it's uh Joel would be really fucking sick getting married on like a mountain range or something. I'm not so like, walking up. No, I know you're not. That's the issue. That would look fucking sick. Like seated chairs, just fucking load the mountain, like cloud inversions in the background. That'd be cold. That'd be sick. And then you all hike down the mountain. Yeah, no, it's not happening. Into your party. <laughs> yeah, this is why men don't do it. That's fucking awful. <laughs> It's not very nice. What everyone's fucking sweating. You got people that can't even walk up a mountain. What's my nan gonna do? She's in her late seventies, mate. A helicopter out there. Brilliant. You said you'd never do that because people die in helicopters. Now you want to put my nan in one. <laughs> That's nuts. This is like my vision board. Come, come take a look. All right, we well, just passed me the phone. I'll explain it. I'll send this to people as well. All right, so we have... Oh, my goodness, I'm fucking knackered. Sorry, everyone listening to this podcast and hearing the yawns and, like, whatever. So, basically, I'm my... Hooked. Shush, my favourite 
idea of a wedding is you got to explain yours, my dad. I didn't. So, you asked me and it said, oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's shit, mate. It's not a good idea. You just want to climb. All right, here we go. Um, so nice open water background. Yeah, arches, white flowers everywhere. But the main thing I want is flowers. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't even feel like I want really anything Flowers else. look pretty, like, so yeah. Like there's more stuff like... I would rather it get towards an evening for the sit down meal. Like, yeah. I don't want it to be a morning thing. I want it to be like afternoon. It gets too hot to if you're doing it or doing the day. Yeah. And then I have like twinkly lights, like above where everyone's seated, mm. still outdoors. Yeah. So I don't know. I just want it I like maintenance if you, and good a lot of music. Places, That's a lot. it. You've got to have a really accessible bar, great music, and people have got to be close together. If you get too big a venue, yeah. people spread out yeah. and it becomes a fucking a lot of the really um, separated party. One thing is that is a good point. What a lot of the best places are all booked up like in advance, so that might be no. This is what I'm saying. We do actually have to wedding hunt we now should, to we be should, able to have we it. We should try and get a date, but no rush to do the planning. But you might have to secure a date. But Venue, yeah. well done. You can crack on. Good job, you. As long as we can travel this, go see her. I don't mind. Well, we're not going on multiple holidays just to say, hey, look, we're here. <laughs> not how it works. I don't know We've that. We've got to I see it in person. Can't you look in pictures? Everyone looks better in pictures. <sighs> but yeah, I think. Really good. I like that. Look, twinkly lights. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, just really minimalistic. And simple. No, it's not, but it's, it's so it looks minimalistic in the picture, but like it actually is a behind the lens. That's not that's not minimalistic. That's very extravagant. Oh, still. that was a C. No, it's still very extravagant. C's already there. In, but okay, it's still very extravagant. Um, what else can we do? What should we talk about? I don't know. I didn't want to feed people at our wedding, did I? What the fuck? Yeah, this is. What do you mean? I, I didn't want to feed people. I you, just don't you're not like... eating today. Welcome to my torture camp. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just. What think, a sentence. <laughs> have a really big buffet. Yeah. Let people all have like pizza. Vans. No, you have to do, do a nice. I don't nah. want to do a sit down meal. No, nah, you have to. Boring. No, you have to, man. It was funny. It's funny. Yeah, Sit if down you're on a good, good table. Yeah, but we, you are on a good table. You're with me at our, at our wedding. You're with me. That's a fucking good table. You're with me and Olive at our Yeah, but it's a long time. So what, bruv? We'll just drink and have fun. Yeah. Olive will be... You're going to uh, drink at our wedding? Olive, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Olive will be... Of course I am. Fucking, yeah. 100% I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see drunk even. Yeah, I haven't been drunk in a long time. This is what I'm saying. Very Might long time. Might actually go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've not been drunk in a long time. Um, drunk, drunk. I've, I've, I've had a couple of drinks, but I'm not drunk, drunk. Last uh, time I remember you drunk, drunk was our um, gender reveal. Found out he was having a go and he and he got fucking... I took myself to bed. <laughs> yeah. He left the party and went to bed. I couldn't hack Bro, it. I was traumatised. Yeah, no, because me and, I, me and Harry have adopted the same thing when we when we get too peppered now. We just go. Mm. We just leave. Because I remember... Well, I didn't even know this. Apparently, when I was trying to leave, I jumped like over into the horse's pen and was trying to like... Yeah, risk... the dog. Yeah, I was trying to let the dogs out or something. I don't even... Re... I have... Even now... like the dogs out much. No, yeah. exactly. <laughs> even now, I don't even remember that. Yeah. Like, that didn't exist in my brain. It was fuck. Yeah, so when I get to that place, all I can think about is get me the fuck in bed and wake up tomorrow when it's all done. Yeah. And then I woke up tomorrow, I was on the sofa and everyone went, you got to come and clean the field. Yeah, Bro thought he was going to get out cleaning. I, I was could, like seven months pregnant. I could just about in operate. Summer, I could just about operate. I was pregnant. I had to see the last person out the door because you went to bed at seven months pregnant and really, really late night and he thinks I'm going to go and cl clean up the field on my own. I mean, no, you're on your own. Your family, yeah. Brilliant. You got oh. help. <laughs> Yeah. You tried curling on the sofa. I like, couldn't I'm do asleep. it, man. I couldn't do it. I could just about breathe, let alone fucking pick things Same. up. Same. That baby was breech. Her head was growing between my ribcage, yeah. mate. Same. Um, no, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll, um, I, what was I saying? Talking about wedding. Wedding. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And Olive will be old enough to have like a lot of laugh then as well. Yeah, she'll be a flower girl. She'll be like four or something, mm. maybe. Wow. Four or five, yeah. Yuck, man. <laughs> Yeah, not you're not yuck, Olive. If you see this, you're fine. You're lovely. This is small but, baby, but yuck, man. But this is what we were saying. Like me and Freya, when I was talking yesterday, we was like, now do we have more babies before you get married? Yep. Or not? Yeah, who knows? As long as you popped it out before, I think you do, you don't want to be pregnant at the wedding, do you? Yeah, but then I also don't want to be like m milky at the fucking wedding and my nipples leafy, milky. Leaking. Through the dress. You don't want to be and then milky. And my hormones going mental. And then go have a babysitter. Don't like. want to be milky at the wedding. We might be a one-child band. Nah, we'll get some more out. 
Mm. We'll cook. We'll cook some. Mm. Mach them in the oven. Uh, Uh, you when, can tell we're uh, tired. Yeah, but no, genuinely, I'm fucking cooked. I didn't even have caffeine. For um, me. I see it. West Ham are playing tonight. We got a really tough game. Well, I'm not there. I've got an event. No, I know, but really, really tough game. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing. Uh, we're playing Bayern Leverkusen, who are about to win the German League, and they are 41 games unbeaten. Mm. And West Ham. You're are losing. Them. Yeah, I'm worried. But if we beat them, it would be fucking mega. And it would. This is what West Ham do, all right. We will lose to like... Burnley. Yeah, or something like that. But then we'll go and beat like Sevilla, right? The Spanish team. When we was last in the Europa League, not last season, the season before that. They have won the Europa League so many fucking times. It's their competition. They mm. win it all the time. We fucking wipe the floor with them. It's such a West Ham thing to do. Mm. So I actually have... It's a shame we've got a couple of missing players. But I have hope that West Ham are going to do their West Ham thing. And they, this podcast comes out before the game kicks off tonight. So I hope I don't look at this clip at 8 p.m. Put Stevens. your predictions in. I'm going to say West Ham. Oh, if we could, if we could nick a draw to then play them at home and beat them at home, that's what I'd, I'm hoping for. I reckon 2-2 two, two draw and then we beat them at our place. Oh. Fingers crossed. Really? Nice yawn. Really good. Um so what are you doing this weekend? Talk to people. Tell them what you're doing this weekend. So Faith, oh, God, Faith's I'm filming with GK Bazza. You're filming with GK Bazza. Then you're, yeah. Then you're going to Norfolk. I've had a lot. Considering all my filming is usually really spaced out, this is a lot in one week. And then you're going. So um, yesterday, obviously, I did something. Can't remember. And then oh yeah, uh, we did it at home with the Kelly Paynes yesterday. Sort of yeah. Kind of. So that's another uh, shit YouTube something I'm starting just because it's easy. Um. And then I uh, dog filming as well. And then we have today podcast and then the sides thing. I'm not really filming in that, but I'm there. And then tonight I've got a PLT event, yeah. um, paid event and just going. I was more asking what you're doing with your weekend. And then not this I'm week. getting there. I have the <laughs> stage and no plan of no what I'm doing. The day after. Well, I know what you're doing. You're going. Okay, Barry. Yeah, and, and that then, starts tomorrow. Well, yeah, then I'm there now, aren't I? Well, and then um, <laughs> I'm meant to be in Norfolk. That you are going to Norfolk. No, I'm meant to be there. I don't want to go. Oh, wow. You can't set your mum up like that. That's peak. Wow, bruv. Go ride your horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm meant to be taking Olive and this is where it gets a little bit better. She date. loves animals. I know she loves animals, but I'm going to have to do so much walking because I'm not taking a horse. You're like, fit, you're fit girl now. Not, I've done two workouts. Yeah, bro, you, you, I'm still in you're doms. Embracing, <laughs> you're embracing the, the peach. You, you, you've you been looking in the mirror I going, am, wow, look, is, walking's like, working, man. Like, like I'm a horse person, right? So I know you can't follow on foot. It doesn't work like that. I've got such bad anxiety anyway. I'm going to be walking through a woods on my own with a baby. <laughs> Do you know how fucking awful that is for me? And then I'm probably going to get alone. lost and I can't... What, what, do you know how fast horses walk? <laughs> I can't keep up with them. They're gone within the first seven minutes even. <laughs> Out of sight. And then they're back four hours before me. Mm. Like I'm doing the whole thing on foot. Yeah. And then I have to stay in a lodge, which is fine. Vibes. That's, that's yeah. cute. No, it's cute. But oh, this just sounds like a lot of work for, t for two days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Right. I'm sure it'll be fun. We'll see. Should we just stop talking now? Yeah. Because okay. I feel like you've got like both of us yawning down the mic. We're absolutely cooked. Yeah, this has been awful. Sorry, guys. This is my, this is just one of them weeks. This where, my, like, what episode is this? This can forty. Oh wow! So oh wow! This so, is sorry. Forty guys. is the worst episode known today. I, I, I think you might be tuning in to. Uh, Hey, we're sorry, man. It's just one of them days. It's just one of them days. We and all have them. Listen, everybody has them. Um, maybe you're... Listen, kick back, everyone. If you're having a day like today, kick back. Put a dressing gown on or something, man. Like, fucking get a bit of popcorn in you. Drink a Pepsi Max and fucking enjoy. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you've tuned in to Growing Pains. Remember, subscribe and like if you are on the YouTube channel. And also subscribe to Growing Pains Clips if you want to consume our content in a short format. I actually feel like our contract should be dropped after this. This is bad. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to get fired. No, we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> uh, if you are listening on audio platforms, please follow us. Subscribe, rate, five stars. Do all the things you need to do over there. Follow our Instagram for Growing Pains Insta. 
um, you'll find some fun carousel pickies and every now and then maybe a reel. We did a reel last week. Yeah. That was cool, wasn't it? We boxed each other. Wow. But yeah, it's been a pleasure, everybody. I hope you have a good week and goodbye.